In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform FFT to generate power spectrum, locate the prominent frequency component, and use the FFT gadget to examine frequency distribution. Here we're looking at some data of sunspot activity over the past 200 plus years. Let's do an FFT on this data. I highlight it, click on Analysis, Signal Processing, FFT, which will then open up the dialog. There are many output options available, such as real, imaginary, phase, etc. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck everything but power. We're going to output just power. So we go through the dialog, making our selections, and we uncheck everything but power. Once we do that, we click the Auto Preview to show the Output Result Graph Preview in the right panel of the dialog itself. The Preview Graph can be changed to many available configurations, so let's try another one, such as Power, which will then show us Power versus Frequency. We can now click OK. The dialog will close and we have a frequency, power, and graphs output to the new to, the, to our workbook as new worksheets. Here we're looking at the result graph, power versus frequency. Here we have data for that graph. I'm going to go ahead and add a new column, click on the add new column button, and calculate the period from the frequency. Let's go ahead and add long name and units. So we'll just type in period, and then the units are years per cycle. Now we select the entire column, we right click, and we go to set column values. In here we enter the formula based on our frequency column, so it's just 1 divided by that column. Click OK. We have our values here. I'm going to create a graph, but I don't have any columns selected. And when I do that, Plot Setup will open, because we haven't specified the columns we want to plot. We're now going to plot that new column, the period column, as our X, and Power as Y. So Power versus Period, hit Add. That will add to the layer, and we click OK, we will have a graph window. Looks like we need to rescale our axes here. To do that, click on the Graph menu and choose Rescale to show all. Now if we wish to zoom in on the x-axis here from about 0 to 35, I click on the Scale In tool on the Tools toolbar on the left-hand side of your workspace. Drag out the box like that. Now let's go ahead and read the value of the peak. So I click on the Data Reader tool, another tool there, position it on the peak. And in my Data Info window, I can see that the prominent period of sunspots is about 11 years. Now let's go ahead and look at the FFT gadget. Gadgets work with graph windows, so let's first make a line plot. Now to open the gadget, click on Gadgets, and go down to FFT. We can click OK in the Preferences dialog. We can always go back. A preview graph displays a plot of amplitude versus frequency. This is for the data inside our ROI box, which is behind us now. Let's go ahead, we're going to rescale the axes. 
We'll change it so the frequency range is 0 to 5,000. And then change the rescale so that it's manual, which will fix the from and to values and prevent the graph from automatically rescaling when new data is added. We can go ahead and uncheck the log scale. Okay, now we have a linear scale. And now let's just position the preview graph so we see our graph with our original raw data. And the data within that ROI box is the data that the FFT is being performed on. So I'm going to click on that ROI box and resize it and watch the preview graph as I drag that. The preview graph updates. So you can see as we move the ROI along the x-axis, the frequency distribution of the selected part of the signal displaying in the FFT preview graph updates accordingly. And we can just continue to move that along, and we get our results in that preview graph. So the gadget's a quick way to, to look at your results, kind of a quick data exploration, data analysis tool. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website to learn more.